All right, just in case you didn't catch it on the military retirement group on Facebook, I recently posted up uh, that I can confirm it takes approximately one month after the end of active service after your EAS to receive your first retirement payment and two months after your EAS for the first VA disability payment to come through. And on the group, I actually posted up all my timelines, which I'm going to share with you right now. So back in uh, around July 2023, I walked into the DAV office um, attempting to initiate my BDD claim, my benefits delivery at discharge, which just in case you don't know what a BDD claim is, you're basically doing your VA claim prior to getting out of the military. So you're actually still active duty and submitting your VA claim. So that way, when you actually EAS, uh, shortly right after your EAS, you actually get your VA disability rating instead of waiting months after you exit the service. So around July, early July time frame, I went into the, uh, the office of the DAV to submit my BDD claim. Uh, that was about 12 July. After that, I um, was contacted by a, a VA contractor. I believe it was a QSF uh, or something like that. Uh, and they set up my appointments for the VA medical examinations. So all that stuff took place within like a two-week time frame. Anything outside of that two-week time frame, it was really hard for me to, uh, to reschedule because they try to kind of cram it all in within two weeks. And, um, you know, I didn't give any pushback really because I wanted to submit all this stuff within that two-week time frame and be within the bounds of the BDD claim which is 180 days to 90 days prior to your EAS. So after I finished all that VA medical examination stuff, it was just basically a waiting game, right? I retired officially 1 December 2023. And uh, 11 days after I retired, 11 days on 11th of December 2023, I logged on to va.gov and saw that my VA rating had hit. Prior to that, between the 1st of December to 11th December, I was constantly on that VA.gov website, like refreshing, hoping that it would update because it would constantly just say pending, pending, right? And uh, it's like a little little green bubble, right? It'll, it hasn't yet hit the final stage. It was just kind of pending. And um, yeah, the 11th of December, 11 days after I eas it finally hit. The person I used from the DAV to submit my, my VA claim, she gave me a call and she gave me all the good news. She's like, hey, based on this, here's what you rate, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I would immediately went, went to the computer and started looking up stuff. Uh, what I rate, you know, what I can expect payment, et cetera. And there was nothing on the VA site saying, you know, upcoming payment or anything like that. So I was kind of left, left in cold on that. Come to January, a month after um, I retired, I received my first retirement payment, right? So that was great. You know, I was chief officer three when I retired at 20 years and uh, received my first military retirement payment, which is great. And a month after that, just recently, this past week, on the 1st of February, 2024, I received my first VA disability payment along with my second retirement payment. So everything kind of fell in line perfectly. Uh, there was no hiccups. I was a little afraid because, you know, as we know, the government just kind of uh, takes their time with, you know, processing all this stuff. But I believe what helped me out with this process, what made it all streamlined. And from the time I retired in December to the time I actually got my first VA disability payment in February, two months later, what helped out was the fact that I submitted all my BDD stuff on time. I didn't give the VA any troubles. I conformed with their timelines. I showed up when I needed to show up for the VA medical examinations. I didn't try to uh, reschedule things, um, nothing like that. And when I went to these VA medical examiner appointments, I made it as easy as possible for them. You know, I they send you a, um, a questionnaire form within the packets, or you can even pick it up the day of your exam at the front desk. And uh, I was as as uh, detailed as possible on these forms. So I actually filled them out here at the house before I actually had my VA appointment. And um, I opened up my medical record. I went into details on times and dates uh, when I had incidents, you know, when I messed up my shoulder, when I had um, surgery on my leg. And um, I, 
I even took a copy of my medical record, though they even had it digitally at the office. I took a copy over there just to show them, hey, look, here's an extra copy. I tabbed everything out uh, just to make it easier for you to find all the stuff within my medical record. And I heard some horror stories from folks on Facebook and different groups that it's taken them months, months to get their VA stuff situated uh, for whatever reason. I don't know what happened with that, but I can tell you this, have all your stuff situated have all your stuff submitted in time and uh, don't give the VA any reason to give you any kickback. Show up to your appointments on time and get what you rate. So if you've experienced anything different, any prolonged timelines, please comment below. I'd love to hear it. Um, I'd love to figure out why these things are happening to assist the next person and hopefully getting all their stuff situated on time. So with that, hopefully your stuff is going smoothly as you transition out of the military, whatever branch it may be, and uh, hit me up at thegreenlogbook at gmail.com or listen to our new podcast, The Military Retirement Podcast on Apple or Spotify and uh, also hit up the Facebook group, The Military Retirement Group. It's about 1,500 strong right now, right under 1,600 and uh, we're sharing a whole ton of stuff and we'd love to have you in the group. All right, out of here.